Hello, this is Seminarian Wolfry, and welcome once again to Following Christ's Footsteps, Season 2, Episode 4. If you recall, two weeks ago, we spoke about the Last Supper. This week, I'd like to focus on another scripture passage involving the Eucharist. So chronologically, this passage comes four days later, namely Sunday the day of the resurrection of our Lord. And the scripture passage is Luke 24, verses 25 through 35, the road to Emmaus. So during this, this passage, there are two disciples of Christ going from Jerusalem to Emmaus, walking on a road. And Christ, now resurrected, appears before them and begins to talk with them. And he asks what they are discussing. And then they tell Christ, you haven't heard? And they start to recall the passion, death, and resurrection, or rather the passion and death of Christ, not knowing yet that he is indeed resurrected. And so he rebukes them. And Christ then relates the whole of the Old Testament to these two men and shows how the whole thing was a foreshadowing of the Messiah, which of course is Christ. So they eventually reach the place where the two disciples were going to stay the night, and Jesus makes it seem as though he is going to continue on. But they say, please, stay with us, join us for dinner. And so Christ agrees, and they sit down at table. And while they're at table, Scripture says, He took the bread, and blessed, and broke it, and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. And he vanished out of their sight. They said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us? while they talked to us on the road, while they opened to us the scriptures. And so here is yet another scriptural account of Christ giving his Eucharist in order that we may come to know him and to feel his presence among us. So Christ sits down, changes the bread and the wine into his body and blood, and that's when these two men recognize him. And they say to one another, were not our hearts on fire? Did we not feel the Lord's presence. And so this is our challenge even today, every Sunday or every day of the week when we come to Mass, that we might feel His presence in the Most Holy Eucharist, that we might receive Him, body, blood, soul, and divinity, just as these two men received Him on the way to Emmaus. So thank you so much for joining me this Tuesday. I hope you were able to take a little something away, and I hope that you join me next Tuesday as we continue our discussion of the Holy Eucharist.